Get ready to make magic with Do It on a Dime, Abra Kadabra. From this Disney haunted mansion idea using Dollar Tree products. Oh man, these are great for any season. Never walk by the Dollar Tree glass section. My favorite jars are down here. These jars are one of the highest quality products, great in a kitchen, but magic trick number one involves a little bit of sand and some mini figurines. Now, you could do this for any holiday, but this one is so cute for Halloween. I love this little skeleton hand. I just cut this down from a Dollar Tree skeleton. Then you wanna grab some pearlescent sprinkle, or you could use a little bit of ground up glass. Dollar Tree does sell this, and this acts as the dirt in front of the tombstones. I added some moss, but the real secret, oh man, is lighting it. You are not gonna believe this LED shadow light. And the Halloween section right now is incredible. They have these really cool pumpkins that remind me of Beetlejuice or Jack Skellington. One of these vases pairs with them so, so well. My kids love the movie Nightmare Before Christmas. I think if I had to pick for me, I would say it would be Hocus Pocus, but you let me know in the comments down below. But for this scene, we're going full Tim Burton. I put some of those little pumpkins in the glass vase, and here is the real fun, y'all. My kids love this, and kids could even help make this. Take that LED shadow projector. This is just $1.25, and set it on top of these jars. It fits perfectly. This is going to light up the jar right over the little graveyard. This looks so realistic in person, I'm telling you. And then when the lights are low, man, I don't know about you, but I think Tim Burton would be proud. I hope Dollar Tree gets a projector light during other holidays because I have so many ideas for Christmas time. It's lovely, it's wonderful, it's perfect for every season. I literally give so many gifts in these glasses too. Like if you wanna put some like cookie stuff, give to your teachers, like when you see these at your Dollar Tree, please get a lot of them, you will use them. Do you wanna know the most purchased item right now in the Halloween section at expensive stores? It's these guys. These hang from your trees outside for trick or treaters. They are so popular and so expensive. Never buy them, get them from the Dollar Tree. They're just $1.25 and I've got a hack for these, so stay tuned. But first, another magic trick. Since I was a little kid, I have loved magic tricks and I'm gonna show you how to make a Pepper's Ghost. This is like making a hologram using Dollar Tree products. So I want you to come to the wood section and they have shadow boxes. These range from three to five dollars depending on the size and they've got a little hinge. Then you need some craft paint. I really like the matte chalkboard paint as well as an applicator sponge. I also got two wooden blocks from the Dollar Tree. This is so, so cool. Abra, hey Abra. Oh, we've got an instant hologram on the bookshelf. If you love Disney's Haunted Mansion ride as much as I do, this is the same technology that they use for the ghost in the dancing ballroom scene. But how do you do it? It's easy. Any image on a video screen with a black background and a piece of plexiglass, plastic, or regular glass, when held at a 45 degree angle against the screen, will re-project the image. It looks like a hologram and floats. This is such a great party trick for any season. I put this in the shadow box and then remember those hanging ghouls? Well, I broke them down so I could get the hands off. We're gonna save the head for another project. I also took apart his mesh little shroud to make it look like old blankets or draping that I set on top. And then on those little blocks, I just set my cell phone. I'm gonna put a link down below to all of the Pepper's Ghost videos and they'll play on loop for you. Now these are all Halloween themed, but I think the options are endless with how you could use this and I wanna hear from you. I had to reuse that $1.25 Skeleton. And since we're all about the crystal vase right now, man, one of my favorite DIYs is coming up all from the Haunted Mansion. I put some Dollar Tree twinkle lights inside. I use the copper ones and I think this looks so high end on a budget. And speaking of skeletons, my favorite DIY that I've used every single year for the past three is spray painting a hula hoop and then adding pool noodles to the side. Now, right now is when you want to get all of the Halloween florals at Dollar Tree. They sell out so fast, including those pumpkins that I showed you, but these are incredible and really remind me of El Día de los Muertos. La Catrina is giving. Masa, masa de madre. And this thing is huge. I love to see all of the options that they have right now. And they even have giant wood signs. These are always just $5, which is a super score. They even have inflatables as well as blow up large items for the holiday. And speaking of La Catrina, I have another magic trick I wanna show you with a cotton shirt. You can find these at Dollar Tree. Also, pick up a giant foam core board and stretch that cotton shirt right over it. Now you wanna put a little bit of bleach in a spray bottle. And remember those wood signs from the Halloween section? They have tons that look like La Catrina, but we're gonna make a really cool and high-end DIY. You could do stars or trees or Santa Claus for other seasons, but here is the magic trick. As soon as you spray the bleach, then you remove your image. And these retail for so much online and it looks fantastic. Just make sure to launder these right away and you've got some more Disney magic in your back pocket.
And man, I have big plans for this giant vase. Now you can find similar items at the Dollar Tree, but this one I got from Walmart for just $9.97. I'm gonna link this below because it's such a versatile project for any season. One of my favorite ways to use this is with a bit of Epsom salt at the bottom of the vase. You can add houses in and bottle brush trees, and you can do this for virtually any holiday. So Halloween is the theme of this video and all of these magic tricks. I love the little Halloween figurines and the bottle brush trees at Dollar Tree are awesome. This looks so cool, kids can help with it, and it's remarkably easy and cheap. Uh, but this next hack that is my favorite is gonna blow your mind and it's a little unconventional. Here's a squat machine I don't use <laughs> and a wig I don't use. Yeah. Yay! You need that same vase and then a foam head. You can find these at the craft store for about $3. I ended up having to cut mine down a little bit because the neck was just a tiny bit long. And you also need that old wig, maybe from a dress up collection. Now this could be any color, purple is probably best, but I just used this because they had it sitting around. You're gonna wrap up the wig using a comb and then stick your head right into the bowl with the wig on. Now, what are we making? I teased this at the beginning of the video, but this is Madame Leota. You know, the lady at the end of the Haunted Mansion ride that's sitting on the table. Okay, so you do need a projector for this. I'm gonna link the cheapest one down below, but this is a wireless projector. These are awesome, especially for watching movies for any holiday. And I'm gonna show you a Christmas trick with this too. I followed Vincent Serpico's channel. I'll be sure to link it down below. And I did a few amendments on my own with some Dollar Tree products. So the first thing I did was I stacked up some board games opposite to where I wanted to have my Madame Leota. Then I covered it with a Dollar Tree plastic tablecloth. This is just so it looks less conspicuous. And then I went ahead and set my projector on top. Then I brought down my crystal ball with the head inside and the wig and I set it opposite. I decided to decorate up my area a little bit too. So I got some mesh from the Dollar Tree and then some more tablecloths. Now this is what's gonna make it look super Halloween-y. I had some candles from the Dollar Tree, candlesticks, everything you see here is from the dollar store. Okay? There's a video online of Madame Leota and I just put that on loop and then I lined up my projector with the head. And of course, I had to go all out with this display. So cool too. They have these Hocus Pocus cauldrons. This is the first year I've ever seen this. We are totally testing it out. This is such a great magic trick. And what's awesome is it looks like a cauldron, but it also acts as a diffuser. So you could put scents in here and use it really any time of the year. But I really like that this lights up in different colors and looks like it's giving off cauldron smoke. Oh man, when this was put all together, is it a huge wow leave this video a thumbs up if you want another tutorial with more ideas like this i put a piece of white paper inside now i can make this for christmas and that little jar topper from the beginning of the video and now it looks like a snow globe here i did a scene of santa's sleigh you could also do a little mini fireplace inside this looks so so cool the kids love it this is so fun stay creative out there and if nobody has told you you my friend are enough i'll catch you soon